Oh, I'm going to need that actually. Welcome to January 19th, 2021. I'm going to make you my favorite recipe. I don't use recipes. All right, we know this. This is Z Cooks. Z, Z, what are you high? Are you using a recipe? What the fuck does that even mean? So, um, live in the middle of nowhere. Walk outside. Hold on. Ignore that reflection. Let me just show you the city skyline for a second. Okay, so, there's an Indian restaurant somewhere out there. Just some, somewhere, I don't know. I see a red light blinking. Maybe that's Indian restaurants. Did I get locked out of my house? That would suck. Or it would improve this video greatly. Anyway, so I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. Nowhere. And um, I recently found a Chinese food place that delivers. It takes an hour to get here, and it's... I'd say it's a, it's a seven. I, I was gonna give it an eight, but I'm pretty sure it's just me being desperate, so I'm gonna do that. Um, anyway, the guy Frank, who does deals with Triangle and those speakers, and <clears throat> not those speakers, but the guy, he's like, hey, he's obsessed with food, he's a foodie. And he kept trying to make me make this Indian recipe, and I just completely ignored it, because I'm like, I don't make recipes. Then he delivers me all the spices you saw on this cap, like all these, who makes these spices? What brand is this? Craft in the USA, pumpkin pie spice, uh, savoryspiceshop.com. He sends me this fucking care package of like 12 spices. And he's like, make the Indian food, you fuck. I mean, he didn't say that, he's a super nice guy. But um, I was like, fine, one day. One day I was just like, all right, you know what? It's, it's time. I, I got nothing better to do. Besides, he uses my Instant Pot. Who doesn't want to use their Instant Pot? By the way, I'm going to be using not one, but two Instant Pots because for those of you who are unaware, the Instant Pot is also the best rice cooker you'll ever have. Unless you have one of those like $3,000 Japanese rice cookers. Hold on, I'm going to plug you in. So, should I run down the equipment you need? Or should I run down the ingredients? Because, well, Literally, I'm, 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 I'm not making this recipe exactly like they say, because I've modified it slightly. This is like the fifth time I'm making it. I've made it on um, a live stream once. But if you go to, <clears throat> no, that's not the one. Up higher, here we go. Twosleevers.com slash instant dash pot dash butter dash chicken, which is what the title of this should say is dash pot. Anyway, I have it in here. And um, I've screenshotted the actual ingredients list, and because so once I once you've made it once, you know how to do it. And I've made it this is the fifth time. Uh, one 14 ounce can of tomatoes, <clears throat> check. Five to six cloves of garlic. I have minced garlic in there. One to two teaspoons of minced ginger. I have minced ginger in there. Um, teaspoon of turmeric, cayenne pepper, milk paprika, kosher salt, garam masala, ground cumin, which I have in the grinder here. The cumin seeds. That stuff's real strong. One pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, you're supposed to use uncooked thighs and put them in there. I'm gonna change it up this time just because I went to Costco and I bought their, you know, cooked, this is their rotisserie chicken that they would have thrown out, but they decided to rip it apart and sell it to you in like a chunk. I'm gonna use this instead, because honestly, the rotisserie, when you pressure cook chicken, it tends to dry it out a little bit. Like it squeezes the shit out of it. And, um, so even Cheese, who made this recipe, my friend Cheese, with the tattoo of Dancing Toast on his chest. Yeah, don't ask. Um, he's like, yeah, you shouldn't cook the chicken like that. And I, I, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna do the recipe without any chicken in it. And then when I'm, after it's done the first time, I'll add the cold chicken or I'll warm up the chicken and then put it in there. Cause it just needs to be chicken in there. It doesn't actually gain the flavors, I don't think. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, and then to finish, so there's basically two steps. We gotta add four ounces of butter and then four ounces of heavy cream, which is, I've never owned heavy cream. I never have a need for it, but now I do. So there's heavy cream in there and butter in there. And then once you add another teaspoon of garam masala, and I'm not gonna do that, because the garam masala is a lot. It's a, like, it's a lot. Like, I'm gonna modify this slightly. You're gonna get this exact. And then it says one quarter to a half a cup of chopped cilantro. Um, I'm not one of those people who think cilantro tastes like soap. But I'm also not one of those people who needs to go out and buy fresh cilantro every time he wants to make a meal. So fuck the cilantro.com. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do first, is we're gonna get the rice set up. We we're pressure cooking rice. And I bought the biggest Costco bag of Thai home, Amali jasmine rice, which <clears throat> I don't have a cup in here, do I? Uh, 
how do I open this more so my hands can access it? It's a way for these strings to just get like undone. Ugh. All right, we're gonna use gravity and patience and perseverance. Okay, I'm gonna do, and I don't measure my rice. I just sort of go by feel. So I'm just gonna feel out exactly how much rice I want. It's usually just cover the bottom of my Instant Pot pot. Massage the balls. It's like it's like the, the prostate of the bag. You wanna just get in there with your fingertips and just give it a squeeze. Okay. <clears throat> I shot rice everywhere. How did I do that? We'll deal with that later. This is a Z Cooks. So I can't deal with that now. Shit. <clears throat> All right. So, since we're adults who have dirty dishes in their sink almost perpetually, we're just going to put this down and run cold water on it. Actually, like that. And we're going to let that fill up and it's just going to clean off the rice for us. Uh, what we need to do here is start adding things. Now, when I was live streaming it, we had a couple people in the audience who knew th more about cooking than I do. And they're like, well, you can't just add the spices to the thing. You need to wake the spices up. And I'm like, I don't know, man. It's pretty fucking awake as it is. But nah, I was wrong. It was not as awake as it could be. It needs more tomato in my rice. It's fine. So what we got to do now is I gotta get my little pot. It was in the sink, wasn't it? It was in the fucking sink, wasn't it? Cox, oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's exactly where I wanted it to be. All right, let that keep doing its thing. Yeah, it's fine, we'll put that there. I don't mind doing dishes on the Z Cooks because this is what life is like. You're gonna have to do this, follow this recipe. You're writing it down, do your fucking dishes. You have a dishwasher, you asshole. Empty what's in there that's clean and put the dirty ones in it. But no. Anyway, you can do this in a small saute pan or anything else. I'm just gonna use this because it's the only thing I used it for in this recipe. We gotta deal with that rice too. This has gotta be rinsed. So what I'm gonna do is I have a uh, ghee here, which has remained liquid, luckily, from when I bought it at Costco. And I've included, I don't know if you've seen this, if you've watched my live streams, you've seen it. I included a sucker, which is not strong enough. I need to put like something in there, like a spring, because it's trying to suck up this ghee and it doesn't have the ball pressure to just like, and suck all the ghee up. You gotta give it like a little thing, little work the shaft. And now we can go whoop. And what we can do, since this is just clarified butter, is we could slightly remove a little bit of butter from the recipe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never take butter out of a recipe. Put that on real low. All right, now we're gonna switch this back to rinsey mode without pouring any of the rice into my sink. There's tomato seeds in here now. That's kind of cool, actually. Well, that white cloud, that's just starch. You want to get rid of that white cloud of starch. And you're going to do this, and it's going to beat the rice against itself. And you're going to have a brand new, thick, white starch cloud. And you're supposed to do this till it runs clear. I'm not that patient. You get me to do, like, three of these, and then it's like, well, I don't give a fuck if it's got a little starch in it. There. There's our third one. I'm sorry to everyone who really wants me to rinse my rice. And then I don't measure the water either. Because we're going to pressure cook it. And like, if it's underdone, you could just add some more water. If it's overdone, you've made literally mush. So I go with like a three times the amount. What looks like if, if this, is, this is the pot where it is, it's like one third is rice and then water, water, water. So that's what we got. And we could turn this on now. We don't have to wait. I do like to salt my rice a little bit. And with the garmasol is not that salty. It's spicy, but not salty. So I'm going to just 
put a little bit of salt in there. I would put some fat in there too, but I don't think we need to for this. Just every bit of salt you're adding, by the way, is getting absorbed into this rice. So be mindful of that. We're gonna hit the rice button. We're not on any cords. I am on a cord, I'm on the cord. There's an R2R DAC here staying nice and warm. Just, sorry, I gotta bring it downstairs. Make sure the thing's gonna gain pressure. So now we've got this. That is hot. Even on the lowest setting, it's, 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 there's no low on this fucking stove. I don't get it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use one of these. And actually my plan was, because I had this discussion with the cheese master, AKA the cheese boy, AKA Chizums. Um, he made a, he, look, he made the exact same amount I'm about to make, but he put like half of it away and had like two meals. I'm gonna finish this tonight or tonight and tomorrow for breakfast because I love this fucking recipe. This is like, I wouldn't do a recipe if it wasn't the best recipe. But um, I'm trying to think how to make this easier because currently I have to take out, well, if I take out everything, I need garlic and I need ginger. And then I need butter, which doesn't come out till way later, but we'll take it out for argument's sake. Butter. And then I need heavy cream. So here's my heavy cream. So look how many fucking ingredients is, and that was a can of tomatoes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Did I miss that? Eleven. That's eleven fucking things. This is ridiculous. I don't want to work this hard for this meal. I make it so often. So the thought process was you, you either make it all and you freeze a bunch of it and you just unfreeze it and warm it up. Or like I could mix all the dry seasonings together because there's a bunch of dry seasonings, salt and garam masala and things. Just store that. And this one, it's like time for food, pour it out and then do what I'm doing. Or do I do what I'm doing here with the oil, which is waking up the spices, which we're going to... We're gonna put that back over there and then turn it the fuck off because it's that's hot. And we'll just have to turn it on for a second. All right, I'm gonna put everything that's dry. So the butter doesn't go in now. The garlic and the ginger paste go in there. The butter and the whipping cream aren't aren't now. They're not now. The garlic is now and the ginger paste is now. These are later. I'm just gonna drop those down for later. Uh, okay, canned tomatoes done. Garlic. Uh, we don't use this spoon for that. We use. Just a rando little spoon. And again, they're talking about five to six cloves. I've got whatever the fuck this minced ready to use garlic is. We're not gonna throw this in the oil. So what's five or six cloves? I think like a, a heaping, a heaping one of those. One and like a little bit more. I love garlic, so there you go. So there's that. We've now, we've now got that going. And I'm never gonna use this ginger paste for anything but this recipe. So if I got a little bit of garlic juice in my ginger paste, um, one to two teaspoons of minced ginger. So I'm just gonna go with a fucking massive heaping teaspoon of that. And we're done with that spoon. I think we're done with that spoon, I hope. So these are two other things that are refrigerated that can go away. I, ginger paste is strong with a K. Okay, tomatoes, garlic, ginger. Now the dry stuff. Turmeric, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, kosher salt, garam masala, ground cumin. One Chewbacca. Now we need, in order, the only thing we need a half teaspoon of is cayenne pepper. So we'll do that first. So this is a half teaspoon. I'm just gonna use a half teaspoon thing because it fits in all my fucking things. And I'm gonna level it out roughly and then just go boom. So there's my half teaspoon, you're done. Put this in the back, back of the pile. See, I could make this crazy mix. So now we have the, the, the doorway. Now everything else is a teaspoon. Teaspoon, 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 teaspoon. And then they want another teaspoon of gyro masala afterwards. I'm not gonna add it afterwards because I wanna put my spices away. I'm, just, I'm gonna put one and a half teaspoons of garam masala in this mix. So this is the paprika. So we're gonna go, the way this is supposed to work by the way, is you shake it up a little bit. You go in, you go under, you scrape against the lid and then you get a perfectly flat half. We're gonna do that again and we're gonna do this I'm sure there's a specific order I should be using because I'm not washing this between getting things out. So I did cayenne pepper first. So now cayenne pepper is going to be in everything else. Um, probably the turmeric, no, turmeric last. I feel like turmeric would be the worst thing to put as infection into everything else. 
So this is the garam masala. So this is what I'm gonna add an extra half. So one half, one, and then another half. Because I wanna cut it down a little bit from the master recipe. Just, it's, it's, it's a lot. The garam masala is a lot. And then the turmeric, this stuff turns everything yellow. So be careful with this. And uh, we need one of these. So boom. Boom. Now, we also need salt, and I don't think kosher salt gives a fuck if I stick a thing into it. This barely fits, by the way. It does fit, but it barely fits. I'm actually low on salt, which is why it's... And we need, again, two of those. One, I would normally just guess, but this is actually a low salt dish. It's a lot of spice, but not a lot of salt. So that's not how that works. How does this work? How does that work like that? So now, the only thing I'm not measuring is the um, ground cumin, because these are cumin seeds. And I could do it on a plate and measure it. I'm just gonna go in three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm doing 12 rotations of that, because we're supposed to have a teaspoon of it. And uh, frankly, this shit, this ground cumin is another thing that's like, holy fuck, that's a spice. I made a whole thing of tomato sauce. And I said, I'm gonna put two screws of cumin. Just all I tasted was, was ground cumin. That was it. So now we have this lovely mess and we're not ready for it yet. Let's get this in here. Now we would be putting our chicken on top of this. Where's our start? We're custom setting this by the way. I think it's 10 minute pressure high. So just on. And we don't have to put the lid on yet. Um, we would put the chicken in there. I do have packages of chicken, but I'm gonna try with this uncooked, I don't wanna pressure cook the chicken. I, I have, you would just get a package like this if you go to Costco. Boom, chicken, actually this is chicken breasts. The very first time I made this, I made this with chicken breasts and it came out great. Then I did it with chicken thighs and it also came out great. And I would kinda wanna do a combo of each, but yeah, like one of these packages, that's almost ready. One of these packages is basically like a pound. So you just boom, hammer it. When you hear this doing this, do this. And then we've, we just now accelerated the process. Now we're going to wake up those spices. We're almost, there's nothing to actually like pressure cook. Because the chicken usually would be the pressure cook. We need to still cook everything. I feel weird about this. I feel like I'm gonna put a little bit of the chicken in there. It's just because I'm chicken flavor. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put the whole amount and I'm, I should measure it too, but I'm also just gonna go by feel with this. Cause this is a, I buy this from Costco and it's like $14 for this amount of chicken. But um, this is this is like the good chicken. This is the, this is the, this is the shit they rotisserie cook all day and then, oh, no one bought 10 chickens. Time to cut them up. Mm. I'm just gonna eat that. That's too good. All right. Good, 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 good. We're gonna need that stick blender in a second. Well, we're gonna need a stick blender in 10 minutes. That's a scary fucking thought. Oh, I smell the gas. That's, pasta don't watch this. There we go. It's fine, right, Chewbacca? Chewbacca understands. So here, I'm like, this is our dry spices, and I wouldn't even add that other thing of cumin, so we're done. It's not that much, but holy fuck. Whatever this combination of spice is, deserves its own cooking show. Okay, that's in there. That's fine. That's basically clean. We don't have to wash that. I'm just gonna get a fork and sort of spread this out. Give this a little bit of a whip. The awakening is happening. That hot oil, it's all brown and you're like, oh God. Well, there we go. She's changing to orange. You don't want to burn them either, so just just get it hot enough that it 
it like wakes the shit out of that. Don't drink this, by the way. And don't give it to your cat or pour it on top of your cat. It's all bad news when you do that. How did I do this last time? Last time I did this, I think I pulled some of the, the, the uh, liquid out of the tomato just to give me something to w wash back. There we go. Otherwise, you're trying to dump out just like a, a sticky fucking pot, and that's not gonna work. Actually, we're gonna pick up one of these pieces of chicken. Use it like a squeegee. Chicken squeegee, that's what we're doing. What have you learned today on Z Cooks? Oh, we learned about the chicken squeegee, Mom. Great, son. Now, there's very precisely measured spices, and if there's some left in here, you wanna just, just don't. Don't leave any in here. Just get it all the fuck out. Oh, yes, chicken squeegees for days. Um. That is it for our initial pressure cook, which is a 10 minute up and down, which I think we might even be able to cut that in half now because there's no raw chicken in it. See, there's a little bit at the bottom of that. We'll rinse that out before that tastes permanently like Indian food. That is a worry. Double checking before I lock that in place, by the way. Yeah, I know. Tomatoes in there, garlic in there, minced ginger in there, turmeric, cayenne pepper, paprika, salt, garam masala, cumin, and the breasts are supposed to be in there. Already sealed. Wait, no. Oh, you can see if you push down, that little thing will try. If you lift this up, there's a little bit of play. Just wait for it. Oh, we got it. How fucking cool was that? That's a boss move right there. So now, it's, you're supposed to let it go up to 10 minutes. If you put the raw chicken in there, if you put the raw full on fuck you thighs in there, I just throw them in the bottom. You put it in for a 10 minute pressure cook and you're supposed to let the pressure naturally come down for 10 minutes, which makes sense because you're cooking chicken. You want it in there for a specific amount of time. Since I'm not cooking chicken, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the 10 minute pressure cook. And then we're just gonna get the rest of the fucking ingredients. I'm gonna pop that thing and get the rest of our ingredients going. So let's put all these fucking fuck you spices away. This, which do not confuse that for Italian seasoning, or you're gonna have a bad time. We have to put the can in the back. And then we have the garam masala. We've got the paprika, Hungarian sweet and spicy paprika. And then the turmeric, which I have so much turmeric. Like, I don't even know where I got, like he sent me this too. How much turmeric can any person eat? Holy fuck, I have cilantro. I do have cilantro. I've got dried cilantro. I didn't even know it came with dried cilantro. We can garnish with cilantro. They want fresh, but I mean, fuck it. We'll fucking, I'll, I'll, I will, I'll garnish with cilantro, just for you guys. I totally didn't even realize I had this. What else is back here? What the fuck is a feg, fenu Greek leaves? I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, that's fine. This is a regular thing. That's kosher salt. We can start, uh, we can get that butter out and just chop it. Since it's only gonna be 10 minutes and we can measure out our whipping cream. Whipping! Now, four ounces of butter, we're gonna go by weight, Chewbacca. I know. Who taught you to be a crazy slut? You want butter? You, Justin? Ready? Here's a little piece of butter. Where'd it go? It's on your, it's on your hair. She's got butter on her titties. Well, well, the titties aren't here on a cat. They're on the bottom, but she's wearing butter. Let's give her a piece of the chicken. Okay, bloops. Actually, we can cut up this chicken also. Since we're only doing a 10 minute cook and it's already off, off on the start. We don't want to waste any time. Chicken for boobers. Boober chicken, where do you want it? Want it over here? How big a piece? Look at me, look at me. She's the worst when you go to drop food. She has no idea where you put it. Why are all my cutting boards missing? That's doing its thing. That's doing its thing, it's got four minutes left on that. There's my cutting board. Of course, there's like packing material on it. That's, oh, and I just, this was, I made like a, I cut up beef on this and I was one, the, I was going to bed and I'm like, oh, fuck it and clean it. So I just threw kosher salt down, 
And I'm pretty sure like that's, that's how they would have done it in the old days. Just throw salt on it and it would just absorb all the moisture out of the board and keep the flies and stuff away. I'm, I'm, I'm going with that method. Just gonna have like a sweep thing. So I want two, like two pieces. So I need like a pound of chicken. So we're just gonna pull out like almost half this bag. For one I got in there, plus this. And you're supposed to shred the chicken, so we're almost there as it is. We got to use that son of a bitch though, because we have diced tomatoes in there. We're about to whip and cream and butter. It's gonna be so fucking good. Ah, it's so good. Okay, it's fine. It's, it's really a decent thing. We could corn on the cob with it. Nine minutes left. Um, when using this, I'm gonna use this for our butter when we go to chop our butter. So I need to weigh that. So let's do that. I'm gonna rinse this off, even though there's nothing actually physically stuck to it. Of course, it's the death spoon. It just throws water everywhere. Just, that's it, that's done. Um, I think this is an eight ounce thing of butter. Yeah, so I need exactly half of this, which, Ta-da. Use one of the pasta's knives. Pasta, I'm using one of your knives. What does half look like? I'm not sure you have to measure it then. It's just the half of this thing. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that's a sharp ass knife. <laughs> that just destroyed the whole world. I'll put this over here by the chicken. We don't need to use this on this. I did have all the spice in this, so this should be rinsed out as well. Just rinsed out. It doesn't have raw meat in it or anything. It was just, it's some turmeric, all right? You won't die. Save, save a cycle on the dishwasher. Save some soap from the environment. Leave that there. So butter can go away. I'm, I'm just wildly holding a knife. I know you guys miss the old apartment, but trust me, I don't. Pasta's very upset that I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I was losing my mind there. It felt like I was one of those places like I can't be this person and then renting and then I want to do things in my future and no. Is over. Game over, man. That would have been a perfect apartment if I was 10 years younger. I would have been like, sweet, bro, we're gonna go down to Philly, we're gonna get hammered. We're gonna go to bars, we're gonna get fucking hammered. We're gonna ride the train back and we're gonna fuck some Philly girls and get all sorts of venereal disease. No, too old for that shit. Especially with coronavirus, there is no Philly. You think I'm gonna go down to Reading Terminal Market? Then I'm gonna go to Reading Terminal Market and be like, oh, cool. I'll sample all these delectable things. Shit, I need that knife to. Cut the fucking chicken. I really, when I moved out, it was not a decision of like, oh, it's, it was just time. No, it wasn't just time. That was a panic attack move. I got out of that apartment and away from the fucking downtown Philly while the riots were going on, and they were riots. <laughs> when you see the flames, it's riots. And I'm like, you know where it doesn't have riots? Middle of fucking nowhere. I'll go there. I'm gonna get a little bit more, more, a uh, little more exposure to the the great outdoors. I want some peace and quiet, so I can write my novel. Oh wait, I don't write a novel. I just listen to headphones and loudspeakers, so I don't need neighbors. And plus, I need a big garage because I'm tired of my car. Oh, by the way, there's birds in my garage, and they're shitting on my car in my garage. So how's that for first world fuck you problems? I will stab you with this knife. You want some chicken? Um, it's fucked up. Like big chunks are fine. I'm just gonna leave like, like nothing bigger than this. This is the biggest piece I wanna see. I don't want anyone choking on this. So now we've got chicken cut, butter cut. We just gotta measure out four ounces or five ounces if you wanna be a badass of heavy whipping cream. Um, it depends on how thin you want it. Cheese didn't like how thin his was, but he also quoted the recipe when he told it to me. This needs to be tightened. These are loose. He also quoted the recipe to me that, oh yeah, it was you know, four ounces of butter and eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. That's not a healthy recipe. And I'm like, but it's only four ounces of heavy whipping cream. So I'm wondering if cheese just overdid the whipping cream. That's why it was so thin for him. Also it would explain why he has so much to put the fuck away. Hi, welcome to a Z Cooks. Fix your shit. That's why this stays upstairs. Where are the other handles that have fucking annoyed me? You're a little loose. One. You're a little loose. That's good. 
and you're way loose, you fuck. If you don't have an impact, a quarter inch impact, with a six inch extension for just fixing your fucking cabinets all fucking day, then you're not living in a perfect home. Pasta, you watching this? Make sure you tighten all the things that get loose. Okay, good, great, baby. Um, four ounces is half a cup. I can do that with a, it's more accurate if I do it in one of these. Unless I have the, uh, nope, one measuring cup's dirty. So we're gonna go find a fucking measuring cup. What is it now? What is this? Half cup, perfect. Bang, bang. There was something in this, it was like, Sugar. Echo. Read notification. Read notification. Echo. Read notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Two shipments have arrived, including World's Best Cables XLR. Ooh, did that happen just now? I just did an unboxing. Oh, please tell me they didn't shove it in the mailbox. This is an exciting Z cooks. This is actually what happens while cooking. Ta-da! See, I complain about the nothingness, but then gifts come out of the nothingness. That does not feel like six four-foot XLRs. Six foot three, six three-foot XLRs. That is, that is lightweight. Get to those. Three minutes left on that. Three minutes, wait. Is it still going or did this beep? That's been on low for three minutes. This still has three minutes remaining. That makes more sense. I was wondering what the fuck was going on. Uh-huh. Oh, I bought Italian seasoning from Costco to fill up my little grinder. This is gonna last me forever, for, forever. And why grind it? Yes, well, the old, my old Italian seasoning has like sticks in it. You can see it's got like sticks. Like what the fuck? This one doesn't have as many sticks, but it's still easier to just get the right amount when using a grinder. You should all know this. Um, I'm not going to put the heavy whipping cream in this until we're ready. I am gonna to attempt to open it though, Jesus. Shaky, shaky. So, heavy whipping cream. Please, in the comments of this video, because I need you to help me, what else can I do with heavy whipping cream? Because, I mean, mashed potatoes? I think you want buttermilk, right? But, I mean, I guess heavy whipping cream would work. I tried using a little bit of this instead of milk for my, um, or in conjunction with milk for mac and cheese. Did not like that at all. Um, what I did like this with, though, is I make, like, the um, cream of chicken soups, like Campbell's cream of chicken soup, where it's, it's concentrated, so you gotta put another cup worth of either water or milk. So I did a three quarters of a cup of milk, one quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream, or one quarter of a can of heavy whipping cream. Best cream of chicken soup I've ever fucking had. So that's a positive note. What else, what else, boys? I mean, other than making whipped cream with this. 36% milk fat, 36%. This makes people who get like 2% milk and versus whole milk, which is like 3%, that's 10 times what whole milk has. I will not make chocolate milk with it, don't ask me to. But there's gotta be some other like very specific thing that you could all recommend. Oh, you, I always keep having a whipping cream around Zia so that I can this. So let me into that secret. One minute left on this. Um, we need to get this ready to go. Zero seconds left on that. That's on low for six minutes. Yee, thank you. I hate this cord. I don't understand why this, the unit is like 60 watts or something. Where does it say it? 100 watts. What the fuck is this cord? This is the cord that's on my goddamn circular saw downstairs. It's like 700 watts. Um, all right, step one, we're gonna unplug that because we need to plug this in. Because unfortunately, this fucking island only has one set of plugs of the whole island. Welcome to welcome to first world problems. We're going to press that. It's going to shoot steam everywhere. Chewbacca's going to look at me like a crazy person. Push those over. The heavy cord actually tries to yank it off the fucking counter. It's terrifying. Um, 
We're not gonna blend the chicken, obviously. You're supposed to take the chicken out, then stick blend, and then put the chicken back in. This is what we're gonna do. It's not that cold, and we're about to put it into very hot liquid, so I think the chicken will be fine. And the rice has been done. That's still steaming out. Let's make sure this isn't under pressure. Oh yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Put you in the sink. I need... Honestly, I'm gonna use one tool for everything. It's gonna be a serving spoon, so I can serve out of that and the rice. Oh yeah, it's perfect. It's just the right amount of done, and it's just all guessing. It's just, it, it, like it sticks a little bit. Like it, you can see it forms like a ball. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We're gonna shut off the warming function because it will dry out the bottom of this. We'll let it just do its thing for a second. I'm gonna get super far ahead of myself now and get out the Brando bowl. This is a special day. Um, the reason this is the Brando bowl is I stole it from an Airbnb in Toronto. And it turns out the guy's name was Brando because he was our host. So Brando, if you're watching this, I, I stole one of your bowls, but I cherish this bowl. I had leftovers at the house. I was driving eight hours back to, to fucking Philly and I needed those leftovers and there was no Ziploc bag. So I was just like, all right. I went to my car and sat down. Somewhere about the halfway mark, I got a big piece of beef out of this bowl. Canadian beef, by the way, I don't know what it is. It is so fucking good. Like, I think it's like they're not allowed to have hormones or anything in their beef, and it's just so fucking good. It's so fucking good. Like, every, every store, no matter what shitty store you go to, all right, step one is melt the butter. And we're supposed to cube it up, but I'm lazy. So we're just gonna put that in there for a second. Um, we're actually gonna put that in there Can't put the chicken in yet. I don't really want to put the heavy cream in there because it's going to cool it off. I just want that butter to melt. I should have melted the butter more. Or I should have put the butter out as soon as I started making this recipe. Um, oh, that's dirty. All right, we're getting another fork out. This will be the actual, it's my last fork. It's my last fork, it's fine. It's the, it cooks, it's fine. I'm gonna get this, yeah, look at that butter melt. This is plenty hot to melt that butter. Oh, we should probably pull this piece of the chicken out. Yeah, cooking, recooking chicken. Oh, I mean, I could blend it. Just will it blend levels of blending? Get off of there. I almost forgot about you guys. Yeah, so now we have just tomatoes and all the spices, and we're gonna get this butter melted down. Which again, they told me to cube it, and I didn't listen because I'm Zeus. But it's almost in there. It's almost in there. Relax, guys. We've got like a little tiny little baby block left. Okay. And we want to do this before we add the heavy cream because that's going to take a lot of the heat out of the uh, thing. So that's melted down enough to start concerning ourselves with the heavy cream, which I'm going to pour directly over. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. And then a little bit more, just for love, for whatever's stuck in that. We do it for love, the things we do for love. I'm gonna put that there. Heavy whipping cream can go away. We don't do the cilantro to the very, 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 very earth shattering end. But now, it's clobbering time. Can I grab this? Is it super hot? Actually, that's not bad. We're here to make a, a I'm gonna just tilt the whole thing. A smooth orange sauce with lots of bubbles. Try not to let it shoot up in your face. I'd call that fucking done. Shake, shake, shake. Don't unplug this yet. You've got to do a thing. And now it's clean. Oh, it's as clean as it's ever going to get. You're not going to clean it any better if you've got a fucking sponge on that. Depending on where you want to let it dry, I don't care if it's drying off in here. There's barely any water. 
I'll, I'll let the cord hang down so I remember to deal with it. So let's get the chicken in there now. Because the chicken needs to warm the fuck up. And I may put this pot back on. Although it's so hot, I probably couldn't eat it right away. But now the chicken, which is basically um, acting as like a cooling agent now. Dun, 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 dun. Well, we can now cover with some cilantro. We're ready, this is it. Don't rinse this off, that's good. We're eating that. Rinse this off. This is how I normally cook. Just as many things as I can clean because it's such, you know, heavy cream for 22 seconds. Well, actually it was only like three minutes, but that's it. It's rinsed, it, nothing's stuck to it. You need to bring soap into the equation when things are stuck to other things. This had nothing on it, and I want to be able to have a clean cutting board. Because if this stays dirty and I throw it in the sink, it'll be three days before I do a dishwashing thing, because I just did all the fucking things anyway. So you gotta just make sure, you, you know, you're ready for whatever. You're dirty, you were out earlier today. But you there. Dun, 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 that's ready to go. Let's add our little bit of cilantro, even though I'm not a huge cilantro fan. Now this is dry cilantro, so I'm sure you're all gonna tell me, oh, see us, you have to reinvigorate that with, you know, cloves of the, of the, of the nymph from the forest moon of Endor. Like, no, you're just gonna put some in there and hopefully it isn't dry as fuck. Here, I'll give that a blend in there. I'm sure by the time it makes it to my stomach, it'll be nice and absorbed. Oh yeah, oh my fucking God, it's the right color and everything. Okay, step one, we go over here, we get our rice. How much rice? I don't know, I'd say fucking fill. I love the, the rice is the meal. We're just, we, are ma we just made the best sauce rice could ever fucking hope for. And now we're gonna cover that so it doesn't get any drier than it is currently. So now we come over here and it doesn't matter if we have rice in our spoon because that's what we're doing. And you just dress that motherfucker. Oh God, yeah. Look at a redress of grievances. Oh God. It should be, I would say this makes four big bowls. How much is that? A little more sauce, a little more chicken. What are we looking at? Just that. Spread that back out, make sure that chicken, the, the smaller you, you break, the, the big piece of chicken that I took out, I should have hit him with us. A, uh, a knife, but yes. So that's it. This is the meal. Um, I guess I should see how it tastes. Oh my God. I know exactly how it's gonna taste. Oh my God, it's so good. You got hit with those spices though. I'm just gonna warn you. This is, it's not spicy food. But this is the kind of food that if you ate at a restaurant, first of all, the quality of the spices themselves, I think is higher than you'd get at a restaurant. This shit is probably $15 on that website. That is some, some Hungarian sweet and spicy paprika. That's legit, those are legit spices. The chicken I know is good chicken. It's not overcooked because it came from Costco. Heavy cream is hard to do and the butter is Kerrygold. You're never going to an, an Indian restaurant and getting Kerrygold butter. So it's, it's one of those things like when people argue that their $50,000 stereo is better than my $2,000 stereo. Because every part's been hand-picked and it's best. There's a line, this is the line. This is the best Indian food I've ever had. Because every bit of it is the best possible thing. Could I use the fancy French butter? Yes. Could I get some sort of weird heavy cream that comes from France? Maybe. Um, but this, the spice hits you and then you go, oh God, give me more. Put more in my esophagus. I'm just gonna stir it all in with the rice because it is, it's just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's perfect. You don't need that full fucking garam masala, that, that second full teaspoon, unnecessary. Put it in the half, put a half in before. If you're cooking the chicken in there, make sure you cook it for 10 minutes and then let it sit on low for 10 minutes and lose its pressure. You need a 20 minute cook time on that chicken. I didn't need it because the chicken was already cooked. 
which makes this meal even faster. Mm. This is, this is great. This is fucking, this is my favorite meal to make like now. Like, and I, I gotta thank Frank and I gotta thank the two sleevers recipe. Um, yeah. Again, two sleevers.com slash instant pot butter chicken. Well, instant dash pot dash butter dash chicken. It's, it's, it's so good. It's so good. Anyone who doesn't like me, if you've never had Indian food, honestly, I don't think they would do, they, do they have heavy cream in India? Because, I mean, the cow is sacred, so they, are they allowed to like, the cow? I don't know. You know what this needs? This needs a glass of 4C iced tea, which I have uh, repurposed my um, Homestead Creamery glass bottles, which I now have 10 of these in the garage to refund for iced tea mix. Three uh, 4C scoops into that. Where's my cup? Where's my other cup? There it is. And for all, anyone else who's not been watching along, this uh, Domaine de Canton French Ginger Liqueur is actually my water bottle. It's something about a heavy glass bottle for drinking just water out of it. You don't have to tell people it's water. They could think you're just drinking liqueur. Like, oh, what's up? Mmm. Yeah, your mother's a hottie. So it just keeps the cold better. I don't even have it out in the, have it out in the counter and it still tastes better than if it was out of a plastic bottle or a plastic cup. I'm gonna go enjoy my perfect meal now and watch probably an episode of Cobra Kai. Right, Chewbacca? We're still on season one, Don't no spoilers, even though by the time this comes out, it'll probably, I'll be done with season three and maybe season four is airing, I don't know. Um, we gotta leave that uncovered, it's, it's fine. Goodbye, everyone.